Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel, A Hummingbird Tarot. Today I'm going to be um, doing the energies for what's up for you guys in June. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this oracle card and I'll be reading this from the book for you guys. Oh wow, something really popped out for you. And you have the sacred scar, which is the number 11. And I also want to let you guys know that um, when I turn the video on, I notice the number 1122 as the time. So 11s might be very significant for you or twos, 22. Um, so I would look those up on angel numbers. I would make a suggestion, but I think that that's kind of better for you guys to do on your own so that you get the energy that you were looking for. You know what I mean? Okay, so beautiful Pisces. Uh, let's see what the sacred scar is about. I believe, while well, I'm looking for this, it's about the, the flaws that we have make us a unique and beautiful person within ourselves. And to really just be gentle with that. Okay. So your inner and outer scars are marks of your soul's courage. They are signs of strength and survival, of your willingness to be alive. The sacred scar speaks of that which one caused pain, being transformed into higher knowledge and inner power. Trauma shall be transformed through spiritual initiation, leading you from woundedness to wisdom. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You can trust your healing process. And in the hidden higher purpose behind things happening as they do. You are strong and you shall flourish on all levels. So that sacred scar within or without, you know, are battles that you have personally gone through that have made you stronger and helped you to understand certain things that without those scars, you wouldn't be able to, uh, perhaps help others with in their lives um, or help yourself to achieve greater things through that pain, through that scar that you hold within or without. Um, so you have something to offer within what pains and traumas you have gone through in your life. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some more Oracle for you. Spirit, can you give me more information about how our Pisces are to use their wounds, the scars that they've had in their life to make their lives better and the lives of others better through their wisdom. Wow. So psychic protection came out for you. So you cannot get wounded anymore. You have psychic protection around me now, a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold. Um, you have gone through it and now you are being protected by a spirit, by God, by whoever you, you call upon, your guides, messengers. And then you also have sensuality. So sensuality doesn't necessarily mean sexual, for instance. Um, it's just about, you know, using and finding joy within all of your senses. Um, this one says your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I love, I laugh, I play. So just a part of your healing process is around finding the joy in your life, being take, partaking of spirituality. Spirit wants us to enjoy our lives here. This is one of the reasons why we're here on the earth is to indulge our senses, you know, um, you know, without falling into, um, over, overdoing things, you know, you want to have temperance with that, but we also just need to find joy in the daily things of life and our, and our five senses, you know, and just really relish in that. And mostly that's just about finding joy. So, I find that strongly for your pile, my beautiful Pisces. 
So let's see what the tarot has to say about your journey, your spiritual journey, um, your physical journey with, so you have the five of pentacles. So I'm feeling that card is specifically pointing. You might still be in an energy of um, feeling left out, left out in the cold a little bit. And then you have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Wands, yes, and I'm feeling this one here for you. And the Four of Cups. Okay, I'm feeling this one wanted to come out too. And the hanged man. Okay. So the five of pentacles is being like feeling like you're left out in the cold, feeling lackful in some part of your life. Um, probably, you know, and then the nine of wands here I'm seeing as well, you know, you've really had to defend yourself. But you've stood strong. Like I said, your wounds are your strength. The, the wounding that you have is turning into your strengths and understanding of things that are greater. And with the Four of Cups here, you know, you're not really seeing, because of these wounds that you've received, it's, it's hard for you to see the gifts that Spirit is offering you now. Um, so... Let's look a little bit deeper into your reading here. So we have also the Hanged Man, which is the only um, Arcana card that you have. Um, it's about, Hanged Man is about self-sacrifice, new perspectives, and growing pains. So maybe some of this stuck energy, this feeling lackful, this have, feeling like you've had to defend yourself, and not really seeing the gifts that are being handed to you from spirit with the four of cups, you know, you need to, it's the time you're hanging here to see things in a new perspective. Spirit is calling for you to see things in a new perspective. And it might be painful for you right now, but this is how we grow. And with the sacred scar, I'm feeling so strongly that you're having these new beginnings that are coming into your life now with all the 11s that you have and this psychic protection, you are being protective, protected. And I don't think that you're going to be encountering this because you're in your personal power here with the page of swords, you know, he, page of sword has so much potential in there in this card, but you're not really accessing it. And then with the seven of cups, you know, it's all about choices but he's kind of afraid to make this choice. It's all about these dreams of what they're going to do with the seven of cups. Which choice are you going to make? And to make it, stop procrastinating. Um, you need to choose one of these things to help you move forward in your life. So the page of swords is, um, you know, it's about having potential, but not really living up to it. And to lower your defenses, um, also letting go of that wounded ego is going to be so beneficial for you because, you know, that's why the page is defensive. His sword is up or her sword is up now, ready to cut at whoever comes at her. You know, don't take, don't take things personally. Now it's time to let that go. And insecurity, you ha um, I'm feeling, you know, with the five of pentacles, the nine of wands, this four of cups, you're feeling insecure. You need to really grasp your own personal power right now and make the decisions that you've been putting off. Stop procrastinating. And with the nine of wands, like I said, I'm feeling like, you know, you're really setting up boundaries now, which is good. Boundaries are good to have and learning to say no and standing up for yourself is so important. But you ha you can let down the wand now. You don't have to defend yourself so much because you are protected. You've you've endured some 
crazy things and you might have some trouble trusting people right now in your life, but Spirit is saying you are protected and you are moving through. You're just going through some growing pains right now. Um, so how do we get out of this? It's just really trusting in Spirit and knowing that what you have gone through is for a purpose, a greater purpose for you to find your authentic self and to understand who not to be around in your life. And another way you're going to heal yourself is through indulging um, in your five senses to get out and play and just embrace and love yourself here and just give yourself everything that you need to grow. You know, this is seeing things in a new perspective. And how do we do that? How do we see things in new perspectives? We get out and play and experiment and let that inner child out um, to celebrate um, a new day and really just, you know, because when we go out and do that, things happen. Things happen in our lives. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more clarification here with my beautiful unknown tarot, wild unknown tarot. So Spirit, can you give us some clarification about the Five of Pentacles? Is this an energy that they're coming out? Oh, yes. So you have the Ten of Wands on the Five of Pentacles, which is, you know, it's you've been carrying the burdens of others. Um, you're really there for people, but you don't feel like they're there for you when you need them most. So you really have been giving more of yourself and you just feel really disappointed and lackful. Like, I give so much to others. And when I ask for a favor, they don't reciprocate. You know, they're not there for me. And so I'm feeling you so much. And that hurts. That really does hurt. Okay, let's see what the Page of Swords is. That defensive energy, spirit, low self-esteem. Oh my gosh. And then another 10. You're coming out of this, you are going to be abundant. Um, this is a card about family, about legacy, about, you know, just having the abundance that you need to really take you forward. So whatever you're choosing here with the Seven of Cups, whatever you're choosing to do next in your life is going to bring you abundance, legacy, and not all necessarily with money, but also by the legacies that we leave by our intellectual endeavors, by the care that we give to others, um, by what you do uh, in the world, basically. And this is really coming out here. And the, the, don't be insecure about yourself because you are going to be leaving this legacy. So what is that? What is the legacy that you want to leave behind? Who are you? What is your legacy? What are you going to do? Because you have been, you have been through the fire now and you have the scars, but you know what it feels like and you can help others through the situation. And then we have the Son of Cups with the Seven of Cups. So the Seven, the Son of Cups, with the Seven of Cups, the seven, is there so much love? Um, with the, with the Son of Cups. It's kind of like a new beginning of letting your heart be open, um, letting your emotions free, letting them out, um, expressing yourself to the fullest without fear. Um, so expressing your emotions without fear is gonna be a huge piece for helping you choose what you're gonna be doing next in your life. Um, and let's see. And this energy is moving fast. It's a uh, spirit is saying with this son of cups that whatever your artistic, if you have this artistic creative passion in your life, spirit is pointing out that this is the way to go. This is what spirit wants you to pick is whatever is your true authentic creative passion here spirit wants to see you work on that um 
it's about a, being a visual artist, um, a musician, um, some kind, you're going to have success in some kind of artistic pursuit. Um, so I'm feeling like whatever this is for you, you know, tr this is what spirit is calling you to do now, that this is your true authentic path, something in the arts, something using your voice in the arts of some sort. That's just um, all I'm getting from spirit now with that one. Okay, nine of wands clarification. Spirit, give me something to clarify the nine of wands for my Pisces and the world. So you have completed this cycle of needing to stand up for yourself, um, feeling like um, things are always against you. You're in this energy of carrying others' burdens without any reciprocation, defending um, your point of view. You're coming out of this cycle. It's time to release all those people who have been making you feel this way, making you feel like you have to defend yourself all the time. So the world, amazing. You have come to the end of that cycle and you are ready for your new beginning. I'm seeing this for you. Even though I don't really have a new beginning card, you have a lot of tense and that's the end of the cycle. So you must be coming really out of the end of this cycle of pain. Spirit, Four of Cups energy. Can you clarify the Four of Cups? What are they not seeing? What are they not seeing being given to, to them by spirit? What have they not seen? Oh, wow. So you have the nine of swords. So what are you not seeing? I'm not quite sure what that means, but the nine of swords is about fear, that you're having fear-based energy and that that energy is an illusion. I'm going to go ahead and um, look at the meaning here for the nine of swords in this deck, but in the Rider Waite Smith, it's about fears, but they're it's not, it's, it's all the things of nightmares here. And, but it's not, it's an illusion. It's some sort of an illusion here. So again, the, the four of cups and this illusion going on, you're having dark visions, anguish that's keeping you up at night. Um, this is some shadow work that perhaps needs to be done. Um, and it indicates insomnia nightmares, worries. Often these states are accompanied by guilt, despair, or even depression. You'll be battling with yourself. So turn to others for help. Find joy and reach out. Okay. So that is quite a serious nine of nine, uh, nine of swords. So you, the reason why you're not seeing the blessings in your life right now from spirit is because you are really suffering from fear, guilt, depression, whatever that is for you that's keeping you up at night and your mind swirling. Um, please get out and seek some help for this because these are illusions. This is not what, what energy spirit wants to see you in. Um, so getting rid of those fears like I said, is going to be a huge part for you opening up and you will no longer be in this hanged position where you need to see things in a new perspective and understand how beautiful and wonderful that you are. So, um, and this is, like I said, this growing pains, um, these can be difficult to handle. Awakenings can be difficult to handle because it's really changing our whole mentality. Um, within and without. So one last card, the hanged man. What will help my Pisces move out of this hanged man energy? 
We have the Father of Cups. So just getting balanced in your emotions is going to help you so much. Um, I, I would suggest doing meditation practice, getting out in nature when you're feeling stressed out. Um, when you need a new perspective, get out, find joy, laugh, play. Um, you know, do things for yourself to help you heal and know that spirit has your back with this and really wants to see you get out of any sort of fear-based energy because if you can let this stuff go and be kinder and gentler to yourself, that the things that happen to you from others are not about you, it's about them not understanding you and don't incorporate this into yourself. Don't incorporate their energy into yourself. Okay, so with that, I'm going to pull some astrology cards for you. Hi, Pisces. So sorry for all the pain that people have been giving you. I, I've gone through this myself with my family. And it's been very hard. And I totally understand I would, I'd made jokes like when I first started doing tarot about how I owned the eight, nine, and ten of um, of swords. You know, those were just my cards, and also the five of pentacles I got all the time. So I totally get it. Wow! Look, we have Mars here for you, and that energy is about moving forward. And defend yourself. <laughs> so we do have this aspect that you're coming out of that. And you have to defend yourself, not by fighting these battles with people. Don't get into petty arguments with people. It's not worth your time. But defend yourself against that by walking away, moving forward with your project, moving forward toward loving yourself. And, um, you know, and, and, and keep the people that are wanting to tear you down away from you now. It's so important. I'm going to pull one more astrology card for you. I'm feeling like this one. And you have house nine with spiritual growth. And Scorpio with intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. Yes, so you are going through an awakening, and that's the hangman here. Um, I'm really feeling that. You're seeing things from a new perspective. You're seeing the truth of things. And this is changing your whole life because the people that you once knew, the people that you once identified with, Maybe you're not identifying with them anymore. And that's why you've been in this defending posture. Like, I'm still the same person. I'm seeing the truth. Can't you guys see it too? And they're not seeing it. They're not seeing it. And they're saying that you're full of shit or whatever that is. Um, yeah. So you're going through this awakening here. And um, the Scorpio is all about exploring that. Going within. Um exposing the truth and purging the fears and renewing yourself um it's about death scorpio's card in the tarot is the death card and it's because it's about going to the shadow aspect embracing and loving the shadow aspect even though it's so hard to do you know um and just purging while you love it while you're loving that shadow self it's about purging that out of yourself as well um you're not going to be perfect that shadow is always going to be there within you but it's that your scar it's what's helping you grow and become who you are and renewing yourself by playing laughing loving dancing, loving yourself, taking care of yourself. Um, and this is going to change your perspective here because practice makes perfect. Or another good one is fake it till you make it. And one time you're going to be laughing and you're really going to feel it. 
you're really going to feel it within the depths of your soul that, you know, you finally broke through. You're not feeling um, numb anymore. You're not feeling like you can't trust anybody anymore. You're feeling like you can open yourself up a little bit. But to do that, you have to purge this negative, these negative people out of your life. And your archetype card is the sustainer. So, and I feel this here, like you give to so many, um, but now it's time you give of yourself, you, you, you nourish others, um, and you've been sustaining them, but no, you may feel like nobody's been sustaining you in this endeavor here. And, but you really have that energy. And once you clear out the, um, the fears and the lower vibrational thought patterns, you know, you're going to be recharged and you're going to be able to get back out in the world and really give of yourself again. Um, and it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy for you um, because you're the sustainer, the peacemaker, the upholder, the preserver. The sustainer is the second archetype in the trio of existence. Works behind the scenes, tending to the tasks of life. They cultivate gardens, pay bills, keep the meals warm, and the mouth sweetly fed. The sustainer is at peace in the process of life, knowing there is no start or finish to humble yet meaningful tasks. They have a natural inclination to nourish others, to archive, to preserve Earth's resources, to consider environmental impact, to see their role in the divine cycle of life. It's common for the sustainer to become overworked, lending to resentment. Their tasks aren't glamorous, and therefore the sustainer rarely receives the credit or attention the sustainer longs to hold. Oh, this is attention. The sustainer longs to hold things in place so badly, especially relationships, that they resist necessary change. Time, take time with this archetype. It is within us all and needs our love. Okay, so I do feeling like this is for you, totally you here. Um, when this is in dark, you're feeling overworked, resentful, trapped, and tired. And when in light, you're abundant, generous, supportive, and reliable. So yes, I'm feeling this draining energy here for sure, but if you start going within and working on this stuff that you need to work on, and here I'm going to show you the sustainer if you want to take a screenshot. And um, if you want to read more about this, it's in this book, The Archetype Guidebook, The Wild Unknown Archetypes. And you can find this stuff on, you know, the, in, on the internet. They have every single one of them up. So if you want to just get closer to this card and really feel that card, and um, I suggest doing that. I like to pick a card and put this by my bed and really meditate on them because um, they just they really strike me as being true. Um, so if this message resonated for you, if you liked my reading, please like and subscribe and um, click the notification bell so that you can get more readings from me in the future. I appreciate you and I'm wishing you the best of luck on this journey and I know you have what it takes. You have the wounds but they're going to make you stronger. All right my dear Pisces, bye-bye.